Hi there, I'm Ralph, I'm the Strength and Conditioning Coach here at JTC. So what we've got here is we're start going to go into a little mobility series here, starting from the bottom of our body on the way up. This will tend to be done just after we've done a little warm-up or a pulse raiser, like a little run or a skip. Uh, we're going to start here with some ankle mobility. Uh, we're trying to increase our ankle dorsiflexion. So uh, we're going to keep the back leg heel on the floor, front leg just in front, and we're going to try and drive the knee over the toe. What we're going to try and do is though, we're going to go 10 reps over the toe, 10 reps outside the toe, and then 10 reps inside the toe. We're trying to hit that to make sure the ankle works in different ways to make sure we're hitting all those areas. The next one on our, our mobility series is going to be a little hamstring pulse. The aim here is we're trying to extend the knee, hands will go straight behind the leg, as we've done about five, four, five reps, what you're going to do is you're going to pull a bit tighter with the hands. We're going to get a bigger stretch through the hamstring, make sure it's really fine for our tennis session. What we're going to do now is a little knee roll, okay? So we're going to try and hit the lower aspect of the spine, get it moving really nicely and try and increase that mobility there. Um, so we're going to have hands out by our side, shoulder blades on floor, knees together, and we're just trying to get as much range, as much movement through the lower aspect of the spine. So just make sure your shoulder blades are on the floor, knees stay together and trying to increase that range as far as you can each rep. What we're trying to aim here is this is called a, a T opener. So we're trying to hit the T spine, which is the upper aspect of the spine. What we're going to do here with the hand that's not rotating, we're going to try and pull that knee as far as you can into the floor. And with the other arm, we're going to try and reach across ourselves as far as possible and then as far as you can behind, really increasing the range of the spine and the rotation the spine can do. Each rep, we should be trying to hit as far as you can. So try and increase the range each, if possible. You're aiming for about eight reps each side. Nice, good job. Really try to keep that knee on the floor if you can and try and reach as far as you can behind and just reach as far as you can in front of yourself. Nice, good job. For our last one in this mobility series, there's gonna be a total body mobilization. So we're gonna start in a press up position. We're then gonna step our foot to the outside of our hand. That inside hand's gonna rotate nice and wide, hand back down and then foot back into the press up position. And you're gonna repeat for about five reps each side. Really trying to get lots of rotation through there. Big one is don't let your, make sure your hips drive through and big chest up to the sky. So start in the press up position, foot to the outside of the hand, big rotation, hand back down and then back down. And then other rotate, repeat the other side. Good. Good Millie. Really make sure you've got a big chest and hips drive towards the floor. Awesome. What we're gonna do here is just a nice little balance and coordination game. Standing on one leg, throwing to two hands. What we're going to do then is we can then progress it into a single arm. So it's following each other's channels, so if the opposite leg to hand. And then what we're going to do here is then switch. So we're making sure we're practicing weak and strong hands and feet. Uh, really easy to progress this even further by adding in a, by adding in a second ball. Millie's going to take one in this channel. And what we're going to do here is just go channel to channel. And if you can do this nice and easy with a group of people, but either first to 50 passes, or if you're just in a pair, first one to drop it loses. So what we're doing here is a little jump complex. Our first one is gonna be a broad jump. Uh, it's our ability to produce and absorb force, okay? Uh, so it's a two-legged jump to stick, Really focus on the landing not being lower than 90 degrees. 
aiming for a decent distance, but the biggest thing here is our landing. Our next one here is a single leg lateral hop and stick. It's a single leg movement which we're trying to absorb force and control our body in a lateral position. Good, really focus on that soft landing. Soft knee, controlled, good, really nice. Our last one on the jump complex is a pogo. So we're trying to create some really good reactive strength here, some almost pitter-patter taps with our toes, some really good height, and nice and explosive. Good. Big one on this one is try not to bend the knees too much and breathe really nice and stiff at the ankle. Good. Great contact. Just try and stay really stiff at those ankles. Keep searching for that height. Really good. 